Hello, so today I want to talk to you guys about a couple cons with the Canon R6. Um, these cons will be more sports photography driven, and there are two things that I um, didn't really know going in to switching to mirrorless, which the Canon R6 is mirrorless. And that is the different um, shutters that you can use. You got mechanical, which is your traditional, where you hear the noise, it's loud um, in most cameras. And then you have mirrorless, which is just completely digital from my understanding. And the first con of the Canon R6 and mechanical shutter is in high speed, they offer 12 frames per second, but there's a catch. That is only allowed with certain lenses. There are some lenses that don't have the capability of doing 12 FPS. So here I have my Canon R6 with the 85 EF adapted to it. Now it's not so much lenses adapted to it that don't get this. There are a good long list of EF lenses that do get 12 frames per second adapted to the R6. The thing is, is that some lenses aren't high enough on the, the, I don't know, level of lenses. So this 85 millimeter does not. So when I go into high speed mode, it's slow. And as much as that sounds fast, if you are not used to it, that's very slow compared to what 12 frames per second could be. So I do have a lens that is capable of the 12 FPS. And that is the Canon 50 millimeter F 1.8. This is a very budget friendly lens. This is the nifty 50. It's the F 1.8. It's a very affordable lens to get into the E the RF mount, um, series of lenses. So here is what you should be able to get. It's a lot faster, very, very fast. And one thing you know, the one way to know if your lens is capable is for one, you could look at the list online, um, but you could also look on the screen and I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there's a green emblem over here that lets you know if it's green, which is the high speed plus H, um, you know that that lens is capable of that 12 FPS um, and mechanical shutter. Now, any lens will do the electronic shutter um, 20 FPS on the Canon R6. There is a downside of using electronic shutter in many areas, but specifically in sports, electronic shutter is going to have a effect on anything that's moving super fast. A ball won't be round it'll be oblong it'll be an oval something with the stretching i don't know the details but rolling shutter i think is what it's called so you'll see a bend in the bat um an abnormal bend i understand there's sometimes bending in wooden bats when they hit the ball and stuff but in electronic shutter it's very um abnormal and it doesn't look correct um baseballs will be white white streaks instead of a ball so that those are two cons in sports photography with the Canon R6 that I've had to work around. And I think some people that might be making the switch might not know it as well, because when I talk to people on the sidelines about not being able to get that 12 FPS because my lenses aren't the approved lenses, they typically don't know about that either. And they have the R6, but they might have a lens that they shoot with often and they just didn't realize that it wasn't getting it. And if your lens doesn't get it, that green logo that was on the back will be yellow. So you'll know if you're not getting it. Also, I think blink as well. Um, so none of my lenses other than the 50 get that. I have my 300 F 2.8. Since it's the Gen 1, it is not supported. But if I had the IS, the one with the image stabilization on the lens, it would get it. The thing is, is I went with the Gen 1 because I didn't need the IS in the lens because the R6s have built in IS in the camera. So I was like, oh, I'll just go the cheaper route on the lens because it's in the camera if I need it, which in sports, I don't use it. So with that said, occasionally I do jump into electronic shutter if I know that I can kind of get away with it. Um, you can kind of get away with it sometimes on like pitching 
depending on what angle you're on if you're shooting straight onto the pitcher you can get away with it that way you can get that full series and like make a gif out of it or whatever um obviously you can use it in landscapes and stuff like that too um but most of the time i'm just in the mechanical shutter so those are just a couple things i wanted to point out for anyone looking into the r6s this is the r6 uh version one uh there is a version two coming out pretty soon um but with that said i hope this helped you out um gave you a little insight on some things to watch out for if you're switching to probably any mirrorless system um they might have these issues but at least with the r6 and the r5 i know they do um the r3 i'm not really sure if the list is the same or if it uh if it supports some earlier gen lenses but with that said i appreciate if you like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time